Hello everyone! Today I will introduce how to use fonts on Mac on the iPad. It's about showing you how to import fonts to your iPad. I recommend it for designers as well, so please watch and try it out. Alright, the app I'm going to use is called AnyFont. It costs about $2, but it's definitely worth the money, so go ahead and download it. So about any font, you can think of it as a folder for fonts, or a stored area of fonts on your iPad. I will introduce how to add fonts into any font today, but the fastest way is to use iTunes, so you can import them easily. I just launched my Mac and opened my iTunes screen. And there is a tab on the left side of iTunes which says Shared Files, so click on that and select any font. Then drag and drop the fonts you have on Mac here. Once this is complete, you just have to press the sync button. This way, the fonts will be inside any font already. Let's go back to the iPad. Open any font and you'll see all the fonts you imported earlier. If they aren't imported, try restarting the app. And from here, I need to do some work to install the fonts. Tap any and this screen will pop up. Then tap the icon and then tap allow which will take you to the settings. If you press install here, you'll be asked for the iPad passcode. So type it in and now you have the font on your iPad. One sad thing is that you can only do this one by one, so it can be a little hassle. If you happen to know how to do a few all at once, please comment below and let me know. Now, the fonts imported can be used on design apps, which I will show you now. Type in anything and there is a category to change fonts, just like the one on many other apps. So look for the font you installed earlier. The one I installed is called Roboto, which is a sans serif font, or more like a condensed font, so select that. In terms of the apps you can use your install fonts on, it seems like you can use them on pretty much most apps, as long as it's a design tool. But there are ones you can't use, such as Line, Instagram, Facebook, where you can only use the fonts provided as you know. But yeah, as long as it's a design tool, they work on any app, even Keynote too. The apps I'm showing you here are the ones that work out fine after I tested them. The upper ones are easy to use and the bottom ones can be used for professionals as well. I'll be introducing these apps in the upcoming videos too, so stay tuned! Lastly, I'll talk about how to add fonts you take from online websites to any font. Most of the time when you get a download link, it comes in a zip file, so open that on an app called Document and save it to any font. Tap the fonts downloaded in Document and you see a button at the bottom on the right side and from there, press the button called Share. Then it automatically opens any font so tap that as we did before.
and install by installing the profile on the settings screen. And we are done! Alright, that's it for today. I suppose many designers use different kinds of fonts, and you can just get everything done on the iPad instead of using Mac. I find this app super useful, so if you can, you should try it too. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye bye!